Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Today, finally, I'm going to ride a little bit. I'm going to take my Husa Berg for a little trail ride. You guys are invited. Before I go riding, I want to give you a little tip what I usually do before I go trail riding. Today is going to be a really hot day. And that brings me to a sponsor of today's video. It's company New Air. This is a portable ice machine that I'm using today to fill uh, my camelback with ice. You know when it's a warm day like today is going to be, it's good to put some ice into your camelback to kind of keep you cool. You know, I, usually I fill it like half full with ice and then uh, just do the water. It makes this uh, bullet size ice uh, cubes, if you can call this an ice cube. I like it because it's uh, portable, it's light and uh, it makes ice uh, you know, quite quickly, it's much faster than your freezer. If you put uh, water in the freezer it takes much longer to make ice. So there you go guys, this is my portable ice machine from New Air AI250W. Hey, check it out, link below in the description, I got you a 20% discount. If you don't have a fr uh, you know, fridge or freezer that makes ice, this is not a bad addition to your, to your kitchen or even to your garage. Hey, it looks like we're ready to go. Let's have some fun. So today I'm riding with Rob on KTM 200. Okay. This thing has nice brakes. So Rob, in front of me, he's riding KTM 200 XCW, six speed, wide ratio. He has all kinds of stuff on that bike. Stack packs, recluse clutch. He has a lever for the rear brake on his uh, clutch side. Suspension nicely tuned. It's an interesting bike. It's 2006, but it looks pretty cool. It makes me wanna finish my 300 build quickly. All right, guys. So we're gonna take Alessandro. That's the gnarliest trail, and then it's gonna be uh, on the second time I'm taking it on this Husaberg. So let's see how he does. He has definitely advantage of this on this light bike. I'll let him go first, right, Rob? Right. I'm gonna follow. Right. Let's see if I can keep up with this light two-stroke. Guys, this one is fun. I'm telling you. You can see it a little better since he is riding the same thing. You know, these things are steep. You can get nice flow on some sections, but some sections are just super gnarly. Uh, he just stole it. So I've been here before on a WR and I didn't like it because uh, I hit my bottom maybe like four times. It's not really meant for trails like this. I don't know if my WR was somehow lowered before I got it, quite possible. But this Husaberg, since it's a 70 degree, it has a really nice ground clearance. So, so far I haven't really hit my frame or nothing like that. I do have a skid play, but it's only the one that come with the bike, which is like a plastic one, but works fine. This thing is gnarly, check it out. It's fun uphill too, actually uphill here. 
I was on the Huda Bear last time and I boiled my coolant so that's why I got that uh, fan from Trailtech. I don't have it on the bike yet because I just got it two days ago. But this is the reason why I got it because really if you go you know uphill first gear and it's a little bit warmer outside definitely you're gonna boil the coolant at least on, on these four stroke bikes. But usually I go a little bit faster, I have a little bit better flow. But it's okay, huh? you guys can you know have more time to enjoy the scenery and the trail. This is a nice switchback here. You can go white. Oh, okay. I stole my bike and got sliding rear wheel. You know, sometimes you have these big racks that are sticking from the trail. A couple times I squeeze my foot between the rack and the foot pack. It's not fun. It's really good to have a good uh, to have a good boots that will withstand that kind of pressure. Look, these things are deep. So yeah, I wanted to take this bike here, show it to you guys and see another, hop, yep, switch back. Show it to you and see how it wanna perform on trail like this, because this is a, as technical as it gets here where I live. So WR was too much, was too heavy. This is same pounds as WR, but it, it really feels lighter. It's more nimble. So I wanted to take it here and tell you what I think about this Hoosaber thing. So far, so far I like it. I really don't feel handicapped from the weight. I mean, of course, two-stroke would be lighter and easier, especially when you fall down or something like that, you need to lift the bike. I mean, you feel the weight when you need to lift it. But when you ride, it really feels good. I'm gonna come here again. And we're gonna start from the beginning, turn the stopwatch on, and see if I can beat the 11.30. That was the best time I had on two-stroke. If I can beat it, well, that means that I'm doing okay on this four-stroke here. So Rob told me that he usually goes uphill here. I usually go down. And there's one tricky section there. It has this uh, little ravine between the racks. Yep. And there's one more. And there's a nice switchback. We should be able to make that one. Let, let him go first. Well, let's try to make it one shot. Let's see if we can. All right. No, not today. Ugh. Last time when I was here last week, I did it one shot. All right, I think we're gonna take break. We'll be back. All right, so we're gonna switch places. I'm gonna go first now. So enjoy the view!
he's still getting used to his bike. He only has it for like a month maybe. So that recluse and the rear brake on the clutch side takes some time to get used to. Nicely here. This is the section that is nice and flowy. But it does come these sharp turns that come out of nowhere. I need to be ready to uh, slow down rapidly. I want to go a little bit faster because I was in the first gear for a long time and the fan is still not in style so I need to cool this bike. I bet it would be on by now. Look at these sections. It's kind of sketchy, huh? The water will do all the damage. It's getting more and more difficult every year. I wonder if there would be a, any kind of maintenance on this trail ever. We are coming to one section that has a kind of steep uh, drop, this one right here make it from here. So the trickiest, the trickiest uh, part with the switchback is coming. Sometimes I try to go white. Today I'll try to do something a little different. Let's see. Almost there. Yeah. <clears throat> Here we go. Ah, again. Ah, man, this this thing is bugging me. Hey, let me know below in the comment. How would you ride this thing? Every time I try to make a sharp turn, because it's off camber, it won't allow me. My bike slides. That's how I usually fall. Even this became more challenging. Much deeper. That used to be the last tough section and then it gets easy. I guess not anymore. It's not too hard, but definitely not easy. All right, this is the last waterfall. It's also kind of fun. Sharp night at the end. Here's, and if you remember, this is where I broke my exhaust flange on KTM. So here is where I usually take my time. As I said, 11.30 my best. Let's see today. 18. Slightly different. Wow, it was nice. It was safe. And this bike, man, 
it performs really great on this trail not as light as his bike <laughs> but man I'm enjoying it I'm so happy I went with this bike